What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to go and take on the Elite Four. And, uh, yeah, after a long, and I mean a long time, uh, training your Pokemon, yeah, it is finally time. And I pretty much got my Pokemon to a very nice level right here. As you can see, three of them are at level 50s, while everybody else is at level, uh, at the late level 40s. And during one, like during one of my training sessions, yes, my Pokemon happened to get the Pokerus virus. And if you guys don't know, Pokemon, the Pokerus virus actually comes in uh, at random times whenever you're training or you're overtraining your Pokemon. Um, it's kind of like a good disease where it gets more experience points, but eventually it goes away. Pokemon are with you. It will, you know, eventually uh, get infected with this disease and whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to be taking on the Elite Four. And, uh, well, first trainer's Will, so I think I know what Pokemon he does have. So I'm going to go with Kid Thunder, starting off with the Kid Thunder right here. Make sure to bring a lot of healing items, guys, because once you take on the Elite Four, you will not be able to go back and, you know, battle anybody else. So here's the first trainer. He's like, welcome to the Pokemon League, Draven. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making the, my psychic Pokemon powerful, and at last, I've been accepted into the Pokemon or into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Alright, bring it on. Bring it on, Mother Grubber. Let's do this. So here we have Elite Four Trainer Will, the psychic type gym, or not the psychic type gym leader, but a psychic type trainer, and he comes out with a Zatu right here. And I'm coming out with a Kid Thunder. So, going into the next screen right here. As you can see, he has five Pokemon. He starts off with a Zatu, which is Psychic and Flying type. Then he comes out with an Executor, Grass and Psychic. And then he comes out with his uh, Slowbro at level 41, both Psychic and Water. Then he comes out with Jinx, both Psychic and, and Ice and Ice type Pokemon. And then he finally comes out with another Zatu at level 42. At Psychic and Flying, the best Pokemon to go up against this guy, Dark type Pokemon. I don't know, Dark type Pokemon, Ghost type Pokemon. For these Pokemon that have an extra elemental uh, aspect to them, like uh, Zatu right here, you can take them down with an Electric type Pokemon, uh, Executor, a Fire type or an Ice type, and then you got Slowbro right here with both Grass and and Electric type Pokemon. And don't forget about Jinx. She does have a weakness. Maybe a fighting type Pokemon? No. Don't forget that bug type Pokemon. So coming back into the screen right here, let's do this. I've learned Thunderbolt, yes. Train my kid Thunder to learn Thunderbolt right here. That way I can have two powerful electric type moves. Yeah, look at that. Easy, easy victory. Bye bye. Alrighty, and Relic is just growing levels, yes. Still my strongest Pokemon. So he's coming out with a Jinx, and I'm gonna go back to Cinder right here. And destroy Cinder. Or oh, Cinder's gonna destroy you. Yeah. This Jinx has no idea what's coming. That's right. Has no idea. Oh yeah, you can defeat this Pokemon with a with fire type moves too. So here we go with a fire punch. Jinx, you got no chance. No chance whatsoever. One hit KO right there. Man, well you got some weak Pokemon right now. And he will be coming out with his slow bro, so I'm gonna be switching it out again with my Kid Thunder. Because Kid Thunder is awesome. He's great. He does some ha he does have some uh, good capabilities right here. He does. So Kid Thunder's back. Kid Thunder will do the Thunder Punch because the Thunder Punch is awesome. Because he's Kid Thunder. That's right. And ooh, nearly beat Slowbro right there, and Slowbro going out with his amnesia attack right here. So we got one more hit before this guy tries to hit us attack, or hit us back. And would you look at that. A good hit. Kid Thunder growing levels. Relic's going uh, going ham on that stuff too. And he's going to come out with his elect or Executor. So I'm going to go back to Cinder. So this whole episode right here is both Executor, um, Kid Thunder, and Cinder kicking some butt right here. Yeah. All right, Cinder, let's get this flame wheel attack for the win. Oh, yes. Is he going to beat him? Maybe, maybe. There he goes. Goodbye, Executor. That's right. Not the best Pokemon. Not the best Pokemon at all. And he's got one more Pokemon, and that is Zatu. 
So let's go back to Kit Thunder. For the win, right? For another win. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Kit Thunder. About to go nuts on this guy with Thunderbolt. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Goodbye, Zatu. And that is how you defeat Will of the Elite Four. Just like that. As you can see, he can't believe it himself. He's like, I can't believe it. Yeah, you definitely can't believe it. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Draven, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. <laughs> Alright, buddy. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the next challenge of the Elite Four. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just another episode. For, or, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk. See you guys. Beep.